So today, we're gonna take a look at the musket rest. Uh, pretty ubiquitous piece of equipment. Most of the earliest depictions of firearms in use on the battlefields of Europe uh, involve the musketeers using these rests. Uh, and it's given rise to a very common uh, misconception that the rests are necessary because the weapons are so gargantuanly heavy uh, that a rest is necessary to hold them up. Um, and this theory doesn't really hold up under scrutiny. Uh, it is notable that the only time the rest is used throughout the entire manual of arms is at the moment that the weapon is fired. If it was so ungainly heavy, support would be necessary throughout most, if not all, uh, of the loading process. Uh, and while the weapons are not standardized, generally speaking, somewhere between 10 to 15 pounds is pretty common for a typical infantry musket at this time. Now, if you can't manage a weapon that's in that weight range freehand, you don't have a lot of business being a musketeer in the first place. And in fact, at one point in the manual of arms, uh, a soldier is required to one hand the weapon freehanded. Uh, you get to poise your piece in the manual, which is a step intended to ensure that you are not entangled, uh, the musket's not entangled in your match, uh, in the lanyard on your rest, in your bandolier, all the various things that you could get tangled in. You're separating your match from the rest of your equipment, your musket from the rest of your equipment, and you're one-handing that piece, free-handed. Clearly, it's not so unmanageably heavy that it needs to be propped up. Uh, and so, in fact, what we see is that it is intended uh, to steady your aim, to improve your accuracy at range, uh, to perhaps extend your range a little bit. Uh, and that's, that's really the only intent with that rest, uh, is to steady your shot and improve your accuracy. So yeah, again. Great steady for your, uh, for your shot, for your aim, but as the nature of combat changes here in Virginia for the colonists, uh, as fighting with the Powhatan chieftain in particular, uh, you're seeing smaller unit actions more frequently, uh, closer range, faster paced combat, uh, frequently fighting from boats or rapidly exiting boats to fight immediately uh, near the water, it would appear that the colonists start to find the rest to be somewhat superfluous. A fair number of examples of musket rest hardware have turned up archeologically throughout early colonial Virginia. Uh, and so because of the nature of the combat here in Virginia, it would appear that the majority of what the colonists used the musket rests for, archeological film.